Well, we're here with Andrew with this really special looking Citroen. Yeah. Can you tell us a little more about it, please? Sure. So um, I saw this car about uh, 90 days ago on a garage forecourt, green and white, and I said, wouldn't it be fun to turn it into the world's smallest food truck? So I approached a few people. 90 days? 90 days. <laughs> Um, we had the, uh, the builder, the designer, and then the big boy was 3M came on board. So 3M have wrapped her. Ah, so right. we put everyone under a lot of pressure. In 90 days, we did an all British design, build, and manufacture uh, with a retail cost of 35,000. Oh, it's, it's absolutely it's staggering to see what could be done in 90 days. Isn't yeah. It? Well, technically, a French classic. It's... Any reason why you chose this? No, it was just a random thing, and when I got the just car... stood out to you on the board. Yeah, and I had no idea I think it was the car's 70th birthday until Citroen oh. told me. Oh, my... So, it's been, you know, so 70 hours of design, um, uh, probably 100 hours on build. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, they had to... Although everything was designed, when you actually physically came to do things, they had to change bits and pieces. Yeah. So there are 50 best of British partners on board and 14 international headed up by 3M. People have a lot of people, this, yeah, and... a lot of people, and and those 50 people brought into it from an image and an email. Oh my word! I'm not and, surprised uh, to be honest, though. I mean, it just cra captivated me completely. Yeah. I mean, we saw it. We're just like, what is that? Yeah. Uh, as you said, it's the world's smallest food truck. Yes. Which actually moves. And everything, everything fits in. So she's got hot and cold water, yeah. hand wash sink, sink, charcoal oven, specially built. No, not too many chefs have these. No. Um, the new Dometic fridge and freezer, a sous vide cooker, everything on the car is gas and electric, so I have an electric hob and a gas hob. Oh, super. Um, have you had to upgrade alternators and things for that? Then? No, no, it's got all separate. Oh. No, no, all looking good. And then the full pull-out station over there, and then yeah. everything at night time lifts out, and she turns into a full bar, where we do drinks from the bar and grill bob stuff from the charcoal oven. My word. What a it's an adventuring cuisine, isn't it? Yes, really? yeah. And basically, you know, she goes out on a bench, she can basically do anything. She's kitted out to do anything. That, unbelievable. I mean, yeah, and you have to come there. I mean, just have, today, just have a look at like the driver's seat specially made for her. Yeah. In the calf leather. I mean, just, you know, just the belief of people in the project has been incredible. It's that, oh, and she has massive it's green. Yeah, she has massive green credentials as well. And British too. Yeah, and all British, British yeah. French. So she's known as the built in Britain 2CV. Yeah. So there you have it. This is where you saw it. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Andrew. Thanks. Thank you.